most of the garden is actually pretty much done for the season. There's a few things to clean up and harvest, mainly cabbages. I have some cabbages left to put in. But my growing season is not going to end because we are trying to grow stuff in the greenhouse this year. And right now, I have a couple of lettuces there. And I have a couple more lettuces here. This was one of the pepper plants that uh, when everything else finished up, this guy didn't and he had quite a few on them. So I took him out of his pot. He was in a pot and I transplanted him here and he's doing fine. I denuded him. He's, I took off all the leaves. Um, this part of the experimental process because we're going to try and grow my existing pepper plants over the winter. So that's a, um, a sweet pepper. These are hot peppers in here. I know the plant looks like crap, but what gives me hope is uh, this guy here. Let's get him in focus. Where is it? There it is. Let's try and get it in focus. I'm sorry. There. That's a new leaf growth. Now there's not much new leaf growth here. I still have peppers growing on this guy. Um, my jalapeno pepper has got pepper still growing and some little ones too. That is a, this one, sorry, I pointed and it's not there. That's another pepper plant from the garden that I transplanted. There's uh, nothing growing there yet, but uh, again, there's always hope. And I did start tomato seedlings. Now, this is where I am an idiot. They were beautiful. Like, I'm telling you, they were gorgeous plants. Uh, they were about uh, six weeks old when I put them in here. But because they're in a greenhouse and it's going to be enclosed most of the time, I did spray them with uh, neem. And then I put them in the greenhouse. And the next day was a beautiful day, but I forgot to open the doors and the window. And they burnt to hell. But because tomatoes are amazingly resilient plants, I did cut off most of the old burnt out growth, like this I think will I'll take off eventually. But this is all new growth from this guy. And all the other ones, that's new growth right there. There is new growth on this guy. And uh, this one was the worst one. He was, oh, I didn't think he'd actually come back. But he has new growth on him too. So don't be such an idiot in the future, Kim. Treat your plants better. I have some rosemary drying in here. I have a drying rack in the house. I'm drying most of them in there. And then we did bring in most of the citrus plants that we decided to uh, keep alive over the winter time. One just, he doesn't look good. I could have left him outside. I really don't care, but who knows? Maybe he'll be fine. This guy is just beautiful, just beautiful. And then, I'm not going to show you what's in there, but those are three more uh, tomatoes that I'm ugh, fermenting the seeds. They're ready to go. I'll have to do that very soon. So even though my main garden isn't going to be much of a growing concern over the next uh, four, five, six months, because it's freaking Canada and we're getting into winter. Oh, I, I am trying to grow some broccoli and some cabbage there, but I don't know. Maybe it may not work. This here is going to be pretty much the growing concern over the winter time. Not much happening in the house otherwise. I'm going to probably I'll be starting all my seedlings out here too in late winter, early spring. But I will keep you posted on how things go in the greenhouse because I have never grown in the greenhouse before. And uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. We'll see you in a bit. Ciao, ciao.